Here's another toy that just kind of caught my fancy. Uh, I have no real love for any Marvel or DC stuff, honestly. Uh, but Aquaman, and specifically Black Manta. I mean, I always thought he was kind of cool in the uh, old cartoon, you know, the Super Friends cartoon from like the 70s and stuff, because uh, he was just more neat looking. He had like a Boba Fett kind of thing going on amidst all these uh, idiots and tights and stuff, you know? He looked more like, you know, uh, someone realistically serious, you know? Okay, what do we got here? What is this thing in between his legs? Oh, I think it's a backpack of some sort. And he's hopelessly trapped. Splash. Good lord. I understand the use of these rubber bands is probably great for toy buying these days, but my god. It is nice, though. It's not like, you know, decades ago where you'd go into a toy aisle and everything would be ripped open and parts would be missing and stuff. I, I gotta admit, these rubber bands have been a very good idea. And like you saw on the uh, Lenarda Rampage figure I was just looking at, you know, these rubber bands are good for keeping action figures' guns in their hands and stuff in the package. But, man, they are a bit of a pain in the ass to get off of things. Okay. Make sure the vacuum doesn't suck that thing up. Uh, okay, this, what, huh, wait, what? There's only one hose there? Okay. Okay, I guess there's only supposed to be one hose there. Hmm, okay, wait. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, his, his wrist swivels. This, uh, moves up and down. It also swivels. That has a nice range of movement. Hmm. You know, I thought these were like those shitty, uh, Marvel ones I keep seeing that are like ten bucks. This one wasn't even ten bucks, this was more like eight or so. And, uh, it is pretty nice looking, actually. I gotta admit. It, uh, actually has posability that goes out to the side like that. Oh, the only thing it doesn't have is swivel right there. And there's no foot swivel. That's unfortunate. Other than that, uh, it's actually not... Yeah, that's kind of shitty now. Let me see something here. Eh, it's just deceptive, uh, clever, uh, posing. <laughs> It almost looks like he has a foot swivel there, but he does not. Hmm. Can I even get that pose, I wonder? No, I certainly cannot. That pose is bullshit. Let me see that. Okay, he's kind of looking this way. He's got one arm down, one arm behind him. One leg is bent like this, one leg is bent like that. That pose is not possible. They are full of shit. Oh god, that is such bullshit. That, that is a bullshit pose. He can't do that. He definitely has a swivel there in that image. <laughs> that's just... Oh man, that's that's a lie. That is a complete lie. That foot's flat. That foot's flat. <laughs> it's not happening on this puppy. It is not happening here. Oh, that is bullshit. I was afraid of that. Because I know that these figures, they, cost, uh, they cut costs by a... Uh, Removing posability, but man. Oh, you fucking pricks. <laughs> I still like it, though. Uh, actually, I bought this looking at his head, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to repaint this guy completely into green and put big uh, doinger antennas off his head and uh, pretty much make him a praying mantis. Maybe even change his arms up, too, to make it more praying mantis like, like a giant Kronos from Micronauts or something. But yeah. Uh, it's actually not too bad, though. I mean,. Even though they're showing fake images on the uh, box there, that cannot happen. Oh, God, that's annoying. In this day and age, really? They gotta resort to that? Oh, Mattel. What do you expect? Anyway, <laughs> the only thing I don't like about this that I'm seeing right here, you're probably not seeing it, but I am, is when you look into his eyes, you're seeing behind his head. Uh, yeah, see that? It's like, the back of his head is exposed. Like, like the, his head is just kind of sitting on there. I wonder if I can pop that off, actually. You know what? I, I bet I would actually break it instead. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's like totally exposed in there. And what I hate about that 
is it's asking to have bugs in there. Like, I can picture a kid playing with this, and, like, all of a sudden, like, you know, like, a year later, he's like, there's, like, spiders are coming out of his head. Or they just see, like, webs going across the back of the eyes or something. Yeah. Let's see. That snaps in there. That snaps in there. God, that is, like, really shitty-looking molding. But, eh, who's looking at the back of a toy, right? Uh. Yeah, snapping these into place, A, you have to get these hoses out of the way. Oh my god, is that one still... You know, that's fucked up. Well, what I was going to say was, A, you have to move the hoses out of the way, and B, uh, these don't move, and C, once it's in there, it's pretty much in there. But, I mean, here it is, I did move the hoses out of the way, and I don't know if you can see this, but it's misaligned now, because this hose is pushing on it. So, his backpack isn't sitting flush on one side. Ugh, okay, there it goes. Man, you have to really have to squish that in. And that goes back to number two, I believe, where once it's in, it's in. Or was that number one? I don't know. <laughs> in any case, he doesn't have any weapons, it seems, but it's a nice-looking figure. It looks like some kind of like a Star Wars uh, pilot of some sort, but, uh, you know, it just is just this cool-looking guy, kind of. I don't know. I kind of don't want to repaint it now. Huh. Let's see. It looks like his eye. Uh, I can't tell. Let me see something here. Okay, yeah. That's what I thought. Uh, it's a pity that I can't get his head apart. It looks like they've sonically welded it or glued it or whatever here. And the unfortunate thing to that is... I was hoping to pop the eyes out, because they are a separate piece, and repaint them like neon green or something. So even if I did want to do that now, A, it would make it no longer see-through, but that's probably not a bad thing since I can see all the guts in the back, and the stuff in the back. But, but a, a, you know, it would make it uh, no longer see-through, and B, I don't think I would be able to put it back together without it completely breaking. So yeah, he's kind of stuck in this image, in this appearance. I wonder if I have any weapons that fit him. And I'm certainly gonna, not going to put April O'Neil's baseball bat in there. And this bottle of sake is a little bit too small. Hmm. His hands sure appear to be pretty big. Here I have a Optimus Prime gun. Uh, a third-party Optimus Prime gun from a third-party bootleg. Oh my god, it doesn't... <clears throat> that ain't happening. <laughs> hey, here I have a gun from a, a Macross guy. Well, actually, a Robotech guy. Uh, the large Veritech. And it looks like that's also going to be... Be too big. Let's see. The hands are rubbery, but not perfectly... Okay, you know what? I'm going to have to downgrade. I'm going to downgrade from that to a Japanese version that actually went to the Mecha. That other one just fits onto a... Okay, that one looks good. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. That's actual... excellent, actually. <laughs> and here's one from Jetfire from Transformers. Identical to the other one, except for color. Boop. Yeah, that's kind of neat. I like it. I was wondering what I was going to use those for. <laughs> uh, yeah. So he looks good with that. Let me see if there's another accessory I can put in his hand. Oh, dear God. Oh, dear God. And it's black. That's just wrong. You have no right. Hmm. There we go. That old boy just wanted a drink. Cheers, mate. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Like, subscribe. I'm an idiot. Patreon. Bleh. 
Meanwhile... Actually, I did manage to get the uh, larger uh, Veritech gun in his hand, which is kind of neat. And now... He's a girl drink drunk. Black Panther calling Hall of Doom. We need reinforcements. Fast. 